Well, Mark, as you know, um, I really enjoy the story of Megdali Dar. And uh, first time I went to Israel, maybe one of my biggest disappointments was Bethlehem because it was just so commercial. And uh, we went into a church, and in my mind I'm saying, boy, this, this just isn't the setting for it. And it wasn't until four or five years later that I had someone in Israel who knew that I was interested in the details of the scripture say, you're, you're missing the Christmas story. And, and they were right, I had. And um, so let me tell you just a little bit about Megdali Dar, because there's really four or five things that this represents that are so important to me as I celebrate Christmas. Number one, I think it's interesting because um, Bethlehem is the location that the Bible gives. And Bethlehem is not just given in, uh, in the Christmas story in Luke, but we go to the Old Testament, there it is, Ephrath Bethlehem. There was more than one Bethlehem. And, um, and Bethlehem we know is a place for shepherds because that's where David grew up. But the thing that's so interesting to me is that it wasn't just any shepherd that was there, they call them the Levitical shepherds. These were shepherds that specialized and grooming sheep that could be used for the Passover. And of course, a Passover lamb had to be perfect, had to be a male that had no blemish. And so how the shepherds would, would uh, do their work, anytime you built a building, could be for a shepherd, could be for a hotel or a house, well, you'd quarry stone. You'd take a stone, uh, and, and as you quarried the stone, you'd build your house, or you'd build, in this case, it's gonna be a tower, and, or a hotel. So by the time you built your, your blocks up to make a house or a hotel, now you had a cave. And the cave is where the animals would be. But there are sharp edges and a, and a Passover lamb had to be perfect. So what the shepherds would do is they would wrap the sheep in swaddling clothes. And, and this swaddling clothes were only used for two things. Number one, for a Passover lamb. So that when this lamb was inside the cave, if he got pushed over by the other sheep uh, against the side, well, it wouldn't nick his ear or his leg. He'd, he'd be perfect. He could be used for the Passover lamb. And so the shepherds, the Levitical shepherds, they knew what swaddling clothes were. You can imagine how surprised they were when an angel says, go and you'll find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes. And they're saying, we're going to find a baby wrapped in clothes suitable for a Passover lamb or uh, a baby wrapped in clothes for death. And so the cave really pictures where Jesus was born. It wasn't in a wooden stable. Now, I'm not offended when people use a wooden stable. We have a, a beautiful one right here for the school and, and people look at it this way. But the more I learn about the cave in Megdali Dar, that's what I like. Megdali Dar, two times it's used in scripture, both times to identify Bethlehem, and one time in the Old Testament. In Micah chapter four, it uses the tower of the flock because you see, the shepherd would, would uh, take a cave, he'd put a sheep there, he would build a tower, and in that tower, the tower of the flock, he would look out to make sure that no predator was coming or no thief was coming, and so it clearly identifies the, the type of setting that it was. So to me, when I look at this, now this particular one uh, was a, a very special gift because people in Israel and Bethlehem knew how much I enjoyed the, the story of the cave, how it's a true picture. And you know what, as soon as I got that picture in my mind, when we go to Bethlehem, we actually go downstairs, we go underneath this fancy church, and there in a cave, we celebrate Christmas, we sing Christmas carols. So this is really what you want to picture in terms of a cave. Well, about 15 or 20 years has been in the making, and uh, now the people of Bethlehem are so excited about this that this was part of a, a, a gift that they sent to me. And it's an olive wood tree. Matter of fact, he told me two years before it was created, he said, I've got a special tree. He said, I'm gonna make you uh, a Megdali Dar. And so here it is, I, I couldn't be happier with it. And so that's why I really enjoy having people when they begin to understand well, when you have a cave, you begin to know a little bit more about the Passover lamb because that's where the swaddling clothes come from. And uh, wood was too valuable. Wood was so rare and so valuable that in those days, they, they wouldn't dare use wood for, for anything but maybe the, the finest furniture. So it certainly wouldn't be used in a stable. And so it wouldn't be a barn like we have. But among the things that we have enjoyed doing is bringing back products from Israel so people can learn to celebrate Christmas, I'd say, in the right way. And so here's a little cave. And again, it depicts the idea that there's rough edges. And that's probably a, a truer setting 
to where the Lord was born. And uh, wow, um, as people have gotten the story, this is a cave that has Bethlehem actually written on it, Mary and Joseph and the babe and the little animals. And this one is really great because you know what? You look at that, you see how rough that is. Again, it's olive wood and it's, it's just a, a beautiful way to tell kids, you wanna know why he's in swaddling clothes? because he was a Passover lamb. He was the original Passover lamb. John said, behold, the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. And so here he was, when he was born, wrapped in swaddling clothes, suitable for a Passover lamb. When he was born, Mary dressed him in swaddling clothes, suitable for someone who's dead. He was born to die. And so that's why I really enjoy the cave and all the details of the cave. Um, you know, the, the olive wood, is pretty special because Hollywood is particular to Bethlehem as well. And so this cave, this wood, these items were all made from Bethlehem. And again, it reminds me of how beautiful the Christmas story is. God provided us the greatest gift of all. And that was a gift of salvation through Jesus Christ, the Passover lamb. Mm -hmm.